So tell me about your experience at Union. Well, you know, I went to Union because at Bishop, I learned that that's what Bishop uh, preachers did mm -hmm. for the most part. Uh, if you graduate from Bishop, this is, and it was unofficial, it was not written in stone, but if you went to Bishop, uh, you went to Union mm -hmm. because MC Williams did, um, William J. Shaw did, uh, Al Campbell, they all went to Bishop uh, and they went to Union for seminary. So it got to be the kind of unwritten rule that that was a seminary trajectory. If you went to Morehouse, you went to Colgate Rochester, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I went to Union and uh, I was so excited to be in New York. It was, it was a city like I had never experienced before. And uh, we got to Union, and we got to Union at the right time mm -hmm. because Cornell West had just gotten there. Mm -hmm. James Melvin Washington had just gotten there. James Alexander Forbes had just gotten there. Dolores Williams had just gotten there. Sam Roberts in sociology had just gotten there. Uh, so here we were uh, at the seminary where Tillich taught. Mm -hmm. Reinhold Niebuhr, uh, Carl Barth, all those guys had, had been there. Dietrich Bonhoeffer had been there some, but the, the, their, their, their ghost still haunted and still loomed large in the seminary. So, uh, and again, I chose Union as my seminary of choice, not only because of Bishop, because, but because I read that they had the best theological library mm -hmm. yeah. of all the schools. So I said, that's where I want to be, plus it's in New York City. So I got there and, um, uh, Cone, I, 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 Cone was there before all the other things. Hey, I was going to ask you that. He was like, the, he was, he was like the scene, the scene. They were after hires, but, but I actually went there at Cone's invitation. He had come to, to Bishop and, and I talked to him and talked to him. But I got there and uh, the first class I had to take was introduction to philosophy of religion. Mm. And into that room stumbles this young guy. I mean, I don't think he was three years older than I was. Mm. And big Afro then, black three-piece suit, even then. Mm. And uh, he just without note or paper, uh, just went on for about hour just just just, just, just. and uh, I mean I you talk about absolutely smitten mm. and uh, of course I knew his name was Cornell West but the Cornell West aura wasn't just, but it didn't matter to me I want I I literally uh, I, I attached myself to him that very day mm -hmm. and never, I mean, we, we, we're friends to this day. Mm -hmm. I literally would follow him around mm -hmm. the seminary. I mean, he was, I had never been exposed to a, a mind uh, like Cornel West. Yeah. And uh, it was just transformative for me. And then to get him and James Melvin Washington together, two of the most brilliant uh, people that I have ever known. And like I say, I, I literally would just, if I saw them coming out of the door and going up Broadway, I didn't step with them, and they never, they never said weird, you know. I went right along with them. I leaned into their conversations. <laughs>